The universe is kind of weird. I mean, the Earth is incredible. The sun, the planets, the galaxies, just mind blowing. Well, what about the universe itself? I asked you to picture just the universe and put it in a box. What do you see? If you're anything like me, the universe is just so big and daunting. And even though it's full of amazing things, it just feels kind of dark and endless. Let's fix that. Let's go on a little journey to find an image to put in that universe box in our heads. An image that's simple and makes sense. All we need to start is a bowl of cereal. Seriously. Imagine if your morning bowl of cereal decided to float up and spread out like this. This is what the universe looks like if I shrunk it down and turn the galaxies into cereal. Let's start with this guy. This is where we live. It's our galaxy, the Milky Way. By shrinking the universe down to this serial scale, our galaxy, which contains 100 billion stars, is now the size of a piece of cereal. I just need to tweak the sizes of these other galaxies now. Okay, they haven't all disappeared. They're mostly just much smaller now. These tiny ones are called dwarf galaxies. They orbit the Milky Way like the moon orbits the Earth. Now, this isn't the whole universe. Sometimes when something is really big, it's difficult to grasp if you try and look at all of it. For instance, when I picture London, I don't picture all of it. It makes more sense to picture landmarks or a neighborhood like this. And that's what this is. This clump of galaxies is our universe neighborhood. It's called the local group. And there's at least 60 galaxies here, all with their own names like Leo 1, Triangulum, Andromeda, Milky Way, Phoenix Dwarf. This is what the local group looks like when it's not being serial. Aren't galaxies beautiful? A galaxy is like a city of stars and our city is a wonderful but pretty common spiral shape. We live just here in the suburbs of our city. Our closest big neighbour is another spiral galaxy called Andromeda. On my serial scale, it's about 30 centimetres away, which in reality is two and a half million light years. It's a little bigger than the Milky Way, and has even more dwarf galaxies orbiting around it than we do. Apart from these three, the other galaxies aren't spiral shaped. They're called irregular or elliptical galaxies. They look more like a blob than a spiral. Now let's take a quick look at the rest of the universe too. We'll start 125 metres away. This is the largest galaxy we've found so far. I've put the serial-sized Milky Way next to it just for scale. It's one of those blob-shaped elliptical galaxies. Now, let's switch on the rest of the galaxies in the universe. There are a lot. The universe is made up of clumps and threads of neighborhoods like the local group, big cities and tiny cities in space. On my serial scale, the whole visible universe is a sphere about seven miles in diameter. That's about a hundred football pitches end to end. That's pretty big, considering our Milky Way cereal alone is so big it takes 185,000 years for light to get from one side to the other. So, just to summarize, if you shrunk the whole visible universe down to 100 football pitches wide, the galaxy we live in would be the size of a piece of cereal. Our closest similar galaxy, Andromeda, would be a ruler's length away and they'd both be orbited by all these tiny galaxies called dwarf galaxies. Hopefully, that's helped create a simple mental image of the unfathomable universe. When I hear the word universe now, I picture the local group, because for me, it gets a bit overwhelming and samey when you try and zoom out further than that. And when you next pour your breakfast cereal, you too could lift up your own Milky Way and Andromeda too. About a ruler's length apart, and actually hold a little corner of the universe in your hands.